Being the victim of a crime committed by a juvenile offender can be stressful and traumatic, but you don't have to go through it alone. The Harris County District Attorney's Office is here for you. I'm Kim Ogg, your District Attorney. We'll treat you with dignity and respect and guide you through the juvenile criminal justice system. It's important to know that the term crime victim refers not only to the affected person, but also to their guardians and close relatives. The first step in the juvenile criminal justice process is a preliminary investigation of the crime. For minor violations, law enforcement may simply warn the juvenile offender and release them to their parents. If further action is needed, then the case is referred to us at the Harris County District Attorney's Office to determine if there's sufficient evidence to prove the crime. Once a case has been filed, the DA's office will assign a victim assistance coordinator as the liaison between you and the prosecutor. The coordinator will inform you of your rights as a crime victim, answer your questions, attend court proceedings with you, and update you about your case. It's important to know that crime victims have rights in our criminal justice system. Crime victims have the right to be present during all public court proceedings involving juvenile offenders subject to the approval of a judge. You can contact your victim assistance coordinator to learn more about attending detention, adjudication, or disposition hearings. Crime victims also have the right to file a victim impact statement which will be considered by the judge in the juvenile's proceedings. If the offender is being held in a detention facility, the juvenile court has to hold a hearing within two working days for the judge to determine if there's good cause to continue detaining the offender. The judge may decide to release a juvenile offender back into the custody of their parent or guardian or keep them in detention. When a juvenile offender's case goes to court, it may be rescheduled. Contact your victim assistance coordinator to receive updates on court dates and case results. Juvenile offender cases may be handled in a variety of ways. In minor crimes, formal court action may not be sought. The offender may instead be placed on deferred prosecution. As a condition of deferred prosecution, the offender may be required to pay restitution to the victim or complete community service. If the case is handled formally, it may proceed to an adjudication hearing. During such hearings, the juvenile offender's family and attorney appear before a judge or jury who will decide if the offender engaged in delinquent conduct resulting in the crime. If found delinquent, the court will hold a disposition hearing to determine the appropriate punishment. Punishment may include community supervision, placement in a residential facility supervised by the Harris County Probation Department, or in some cases, detention in a Texas Juvenile Justice Department facility. For the most serious offenses, determinate sentencing may be sought, which can result in confinement in a juvenile facility, as well as an adult prison Alternatively, the prosecutor may seek a certification hearing to determine whether the juvenile offender should be prosecuted as an adult. If a juvenile offender is sentenced to time in either a juvenile justice facility or a Department of Criminal Justice prison, the crime victim may have the right to be notified when the offender is being considered for release. Crime victims may protest release decisions. Your victim assistance coordinator can help you register for release notification. If you're a victim of violent crime, you may qualify for crime victims compensation funds. Your victim assistance coordinator can also help you in determining your eligibility for compensation and with completing the application. To find out more, visit our website or call the DA's Victim Services Helpline. We're here for you.